Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Pillin' Barbecue. Thankfully, we're starting our uh, videos back up, and today we're going to be doing a Christmas pork loin from our new barbecue trailer right here on Just Pillin' Barbecue. Stay tuned. Alright guys, like I said, we're inside the uh, barbecue trailer uh, for this video, so it may be a little echoey in here because this it may to make videos with, obviously, but uh, I think it'll be alright anyway. I think it'll be fun to do a video from inside the uh, trailer. It's probably going to be a little traffic noise and that kind of stuff because we're in the front yard in our driveway, but anyway, we've been wanting to do a Christmas video because uh, we didn't do a Thanksgiving video. We've been tied up with trying to get the trailer here and that kind of stuff, plus, you know, spending time with family and that kind of stuff. But I know everybody did a turkey for Thanksgiving. Everybody's probably going to be doing a ham or, you know, a rib roast or something like that for Christmas. I wanted to do something a little bit different and something that's a little bit cheaper because right now meat's really expensive. So a, a rib roast or prime rib or something like that might be out of the question. So we're going to do a Christmas pork loin, and my plan was to do a whole pork loin, and uh, I bought a whole pork loin, but the problem with the one that I bought was that was the only one that they had, and as it went toward the end, it got thinner and thinner, almost like uh, the country style boneless pork ribs. So I pieced it out, cut it into thirds, and... I made some, went ahead and seasoned up some pork chops and some country style pork ribs and put them in the freezer. So now we've got about a third of a whole pork loin, boneless pork loin, uh, that we're going to do. I've got a bacon weave that I've already done. I've got a video on that. I'll put a link in the description box below to that video and maybe put it up top up here so you can click on that and see exactly how I do my bacon weave. But now we're going to season this pork loin up. Wrap it up in this uh, bacon weave, put it on the uh, Ironwood 885 on the back porch of our trailer, 225 degrees uh, on super smoke. And we're using the Meat Church blend Traeger pellets today. So we're gonna see how those do as well. So let's get started. All right, so this is our pork loin. This is our bacon weave. And uh, give you a look, I've already trimmed the pork loin up. I didn't need to do a whole lot. I shaved a little bit of this because it was a little bit thicker and I left the rest of this fat. It's got some good marbling in here and I just made a couple of cross hatches in here so some of the rub can get in here plus the fat from this bacon can kind of get in here too and uh, season this thing up. The other side looks really good. Really good marbling in here and I think it's going to turn out good. My only concern is with the bacon that I bought, this is the biggest weave, biggest weave that I could make. And I'm not sure if it's actually going to seal the whole thing up, but we're about to find out. There's nothing we can do about that now. So also, we're going to be seasoning up with some Holy Gospel uh, Barbecue Rub from Meat Church Barbecue. And this is actually a mixture of Holy Cow and the Gospel. And so that's how they get the Holy Gospel. Uh, so we're going to season this up really well. It's got some black pepper flakes in it, along with other seasonings. Really good, and I'm not, by the way, I'm not sponsored by Meat Church. I mean, I've got a Meat Church shirt on. I'm using Meat Church blend pellets. I'm using Meat Church rubs. I mean, Matt Pittman, I mean, if you're watching the video, man, hit me up. Don't, don't, you know, Harley's my brother, don't hold that against me. Sure, we get all sides. Really well, and I'm gonna get the inside of the bacon weave as well. Just give a little seasoning to that. now 
it's time to see if we can get this bacon weave going. I'm going to try to roll it with. Now we'll see if it stays. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see if we can slide it back now. Tuck in the edges. And we're just going to see if it'll cook just like that. Right there now. Season the outside up. As soon as that iron wood gets up to temperature, we're going to put it out there on it. Five degrees on super smoke beef church blend pellets and we'll give you an update here in a little bit all right so this pork loin wrapped in bacon has been on the grill for about three and a half hours we cooked it three hours at 225 degrees on super smoke and then that last half hour I cut it up to 300 degrees to crisp up that bacon uh, and get everything nice crispy and done it's at perfect internal temperature of about 150 degrees. We're fixing to take it off, bring it in here, tint it with some foil and let it rest for a little bit, and then we're gonna cut into it. Um, the cook has gone really well, so let's go out there and take it off. So this pork loin has been resting about a half hour now we're fixing to cut into it and uh, see how it looks we got some juices flowing now just to recap uh, I'm not sure how much this piece of a pork loin weighed I'm gonna say between two and three pounds um, two and a half pounds we'll say wrapped in a bacon weave um, we seasoned it with the Holy Gospel, uh, this one right here, the Holy Gospel, and put it on the trailer at 225 on super smoke for about three hours and then cut it up to 300 degrees for the last half hour. And this is what we have. So we're going to slice into it now and see what we've got. Hopefully this slice is good. The bacon weave is going to be a little bit challenging as far as the slice goes we're about to find out what we're working with here super moist look at the juices going everywhere and look at that love the color let's get another little slice here Nice with the bacon weave, super hot. Get one more slice and then we'll give it a try. Man, that's hot. And really that looks more, as far as tender wise, like a, almost like more like a pork butt. I want that piece right there with a little bit of bacon on top. A little bit of bacon with it. Give it a try. It's 
the idea. Mm. Super tender, juicy. That Holy Gospel comes through really good. The bacon, the bacon, being wrapped in that bacon really does help with the moisture and the flavor. Super juicy. That juice coming out. Great recipe. Give this a try. This will be something really good to cook for Christmas. Not as expensive as it's going to be to do a prime rib or something like that. So give this a try. Uh, again, I'll put a link on how to do that bacon weave in the description box. Check it out. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Merry Christmas to you guys. And until next time, we'll be piddling. See you guys.